Grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to know that the Lord God our Father loves you, and his desire is that, he, that you would seek his face. He has a hope for us in this time, that we would draw near to him. For many of his sheep have been scattered by the evil one, and he wants his sheep to draw near to him. He is our protector. He is our shield, our strength, our fortress, our safe refuge. All sheep who are drawn near to the shepherd are under his protection, the shadow of his wing. The sheep that have gone astray, those who have been scattered, are exposed to the evil one, to the devices he has, to the tricks he has, and even to some of the destruction he will inflict upon many. Many in the church are still weak. It is the natural state of a Christian to seek the Lord. Yet in these days, many have not done so. So we are to seek the Lord. Seek him with all our heart. Draw near to him. If you seek him, seek him with all your heart, you will find him. For he is good. He is a good father, and he loves his children, and he does not wish that any should perish. Those of his church, those who call on his name, he wants you to put away your own selfish desires. He wants you to seek him first. He wants you to know his love intimately and to write his word, God's word, the Bible, within your heart. Have it written on your heart, and it will help you in these days. It will be life to you, and it will be the means by which you can have victory in the battles ahead. For we are in the time where the onslaught of the enemy is at hand. Like great blowing of wind, that brings, uh, stirs up the sea. So the wind, for the end of days, has been blowing, and the onslaught of the enemy is stirred up like the sea, and they are coming in full force. And many in the church are not ready. So arm yourself with the word of God. Seek the Lord God your Father with all your heart. Draw near to him. He will draw near to you. In him you will find safety. He has been a protector in his word. You can see he has shown time and time again that the people who he chose were protected by his mighty power. When the enemies would come at hand to destroy them, when they turned to the Lord and they sought his face, he would deliver them out of all of their distresses. God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He wants people to seek his face. He does not wish that any should perish. He wants all people to come to him. He draws all people to himself. He does not show partiality. He wants people to seek him and to find him. And those who believe on his Son, Jesus Christ, which by his word says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father but by me, that's Jesus Christ. By this word, you will know how you will find the Father in heaven. You have to do so through Jesus Christ. So seek him and do so through Jesus Christ. The scripture also calls Jesus Christ the veil which was torn. And that is a description of the entryway of how you could enter into the innermost sanctuary and talk with God yourself. So Jesus is the door, just like the scripture also says he's the door to the sheepfold. 
Anybody who wants to enter in will enter by him are his sheep. And anybody who comes in any other way is a thief and a robber. And a thief and a robber, they are not gods. They are not. They are not on the side of God. So you have to enter through Jesus Christ. You have to seek the Father and Jesus, his Son, whom he sent, is the way you can find him. So write God's word on your heart. All right, We are in a time where there's going to be a great falling away. And God does not want any to perish. A great falling away speaks of many of the sheep, God's sheep, his flock, being scattered and turning away from him. And this is the enemy, the onslaught of the enemy's attack against God's people. And again, he doesn't want any to perish. He wants all to draw near to him. Just as God in Scripture chose a people to reveal his mighty power through, that his name would be represented in the earth, so to today, God wants us, his children, to be his representation, to be the light we've been called to be in this time, a light to the world, all right? will be a light as the morning sun comes up and shines and the darkness goes away because the, the light exposes and shines over all. He wants us to be that kind of light for him in this time. He wants us not to be hidden and put under a basket to hide our light, but he wants our light to be shown in front of all. And the purpose of this light is that people will see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. And these good works that are spoken of here, these good works, the reason someone would glorify God in heaven when they see good works in a believer is because those good works aren't possible on that believer's own doing. It could only be God, and so all glory goes to God. Just as God in the Bible revealed his mighty power in the world through the people he chose so that his good name would be known in the earth and all would know that they could seek God, he also is giving us the same call when we are to be the light in the world and we are to show our good works before men so that they may glorify our Father in heaven. We do not have glory in this because that is not by our own means. We are not capable of producing the good works of ourselves that would, that would be only possible with God's work. As the scripture says, we are the branch and he is the vine. And if you are drawing from the vine, if you are rooted in the vine, drawing your nutrients, as it were, from the vine, then you will produce good fruit. But every branch that is disconnected from the vine, that is not drawing from the vine, produces no fruit. Also, as John the Baptist said, a man can do nothing unless he receives it from God. So you have to receive it from God. And as the scripture said once again, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So God is calling all peoples to himself. Jesus Christ, his son, is the one he sent as his personal representation here on earth. And he's the one whom God gave all authority to. His name, name of Jesus, is the name that has all authority under it. And he wants you to seek him through his son, Jesus. Draw near to him, he will draw near to you. God is a good father. He loves you. He wants you to draw near. He is able to protect you from natural disasters and from the evil one, from his plots from his devices, from his tricks. When we are in this spiritual war, this battle, which has been going on and now is at, at its onslaught, a great onslaught, we have God's word, which is our tools for winning and having victory over the evil one. God's word is a sword for us. And in it, he shows us how to put on the full armor of God, 
how to be equipped for every situation that the evil one may bring. So he wants us to seek him, to write his word on our heart. The church, for the most part, is weak because they have not been seeking him as is meant for the natural state of a Christian to do. You seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Write his word on your heart. Be ready in season and out of season. You're called to be a light. And if you need to speak for his sake, and he calls you to speak for his sake, it's not only when you're comfortable. It's not only when you're ready. Be ready in season and out of season. But remember this. We have plenty of warnings about the last days. All right? There is going to be much destruction. There's going to be a great falling away. And remember also, God doesn't want any to perish. It's not his desire that any should leave him. It's not his desire that any should die and lose all that he has for them, the protections that he has for them, the work that he has set for them, the work that he desires of us. And the work is to do his will. As Jesus also said, that he did nothing of himself, but only what he saw his father do. So he did the works of his father. He was obedient to the heavenly father, his father. And he has called us to walk in the same manner he walked, to love one another as he has loved one another. That's the new commandment he gave us. A new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you. This is Jesus' commandment. In the way in which Jesus walked, he did not serve his own self-interests. He said, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. So if we are to walk as Jesus Christ, we are to put our own self-interests aside and put God's self-interests first. We are no longer to serve ourselves, to set ourselves up as an idol whom we serve our own pleasures to. Serving our own pleasures, this is not the way of Christ. Those who are Christians, which orig originally meant we are like Christ because you, people can see that person walks just like Jesus Christ. A person who is just like Christ does not follow their own will and their own desire. They seek the desire of the Lord and to do His will here in the earth. So God wants you to know, again, I'll say this, He is a good Father. He delights in His children. He does not want any to perish. So seek Him, draw near to Him, and he can protect you through the many disasters that are coming ahead. Yes, even through those. He can be your protector through these times and keep you safe as you are near to him. He'll keep you under the shadow of his wing so you're protected. And you can only be under the shadow of his wing when you seek him and you draw near to him. Those who are not near, those who have strayed and gone away, Again, they are exposed, they are vulnerable, they are dangerous, in a dangerous position, I should say, where the enemy will take advantage of them. So our Father in Heaven wants you to seek Him with all your heart. I want you to understand that. The emphasis on seeking him with all your heart. This is not meet me halfway. <laughs> the scripture says he's not far from each of us. But still, what he asks of us is to seek him with all our heart. He wants you to keep yourselves from the world, to keep yourself unspotted, and to keep yourselves clean. For those who are his walks as he does, and they represent him to the world. They are his light. You are to be his light. And those who represent 
God's good name, should walk as God has called them to walk, not seeking their own selfish desires, but the will of the Heavenly Father, and they are to set themselves apart from the world, to clearly be seen as sanctified and holy. And that means, as Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. It is a pure representation. It is meant to be a pure representation of our Father in heaven. Just as the scripture says, you are called to be perfect, just as I am perfect. And this is from God. He wants us to be perfect, just as he is perfect. If this is his desire, and he's told us to seek his face with all our heart, then he who is able to do all, he is the one who will keep us and he will protect us. He also tells us to share his yoke. And in that he's telling us, he will bear the brunt of our burden. And when you share a yoke with God, and a yoke is where two are joined together, and they cannot move in any other direction than together, when you're joined together in this way, he is the one who's going to carry the burden of the load burden of the load as you go forward. So yes, it'll be hard work, but you will be sustained. It will never be too much for you. God will bear the brunt of the load, the brunt of the work. He will sustain you. He will restore you. He will give you strength. He will give you rest and he will give you peace. So when you draw near to him, you seek his face and you walk as he has called you to walk in the example he had with Christ, who only did the will of the Father, then you start walking in lockstep with the Father, our Heavenly Father, to do his will on the earth, to be a light to the world, to reach all people for his name, and that people will see and know that it is him, for he will make his mighty power known in the earth. It's all through scripture. He wants people to know he is good. The people that are represented by his name, he delivers them. He delivers, delivers them from the enemy. He is choosing to make his mighty power known through those who are here to represent his name. And all people who see this can only give God glory because this is beyond the means of a normal person. God is bearing the brunt of the work, the brunt of the load. As we walk with him, he is going to carry us. And then the works that we do will clearly be of God. Jesus did the example of walking and doing what was not possible by mere men. His disciples, after receiving the Holy Spirit, did the same. And his disciples made disciples. And they were called and they did the same. God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He wants all people to draw near. He wishes that no one should perish. Seek his face. He has many good gifts to give you, but you can only receive them when you seek him, when you draw near, when you find what he has for you and the treasure, the hidden treasures within his word written on your heart. This will be life to you it will be light in you, and then you are to go forth and be that light to the world. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. It's Jesus Christ's words. And we also have the promise and I will give you the desires of your heart. When you seek him, when you seek his face, this, in that place where we have our good father, a good father gives good gifts to his children. He will give you the desires of your heart, not when you're seeking your own selfish, fleshly interests, but when you're seeking his desires. For his desires both in your life and to represent him here on earth he has many good gifts for you 
and so many of you have not sought him not sought his face and remain weak God will open many doors for you he will be your strength and you will be his light to the world for he has called his people to be his light and he wants them to know that by his strength he will do many mighty wonders again as it is written in the last day in the last days they will do greater signs than these and he who believes on the Lord God greater signs than these will he do so what we see in Scripture we have also a guarantee he will do again and these are the days beloved the onslaught of the enemy is here you need to be near to Christ you need to draw near to God your Father in heaven and he will be your protector he will sustain you and he can deliver you from all the plots and devices of the evil one he can protect you through these times and he can make his light shine through you and his mighty power known by his work in and through you and by his word written on your heart I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father but by me seek God seek his face seek his love and he can do the rest God is love dwell in his love abide in him and he will abide in you this is what a Christian is one who is like Christ who is like his father in heaven who did the work of his father in heaven he shared his love to all he came to, to who came in front of him who came across him the love of Christ that we are called to follow is given to us by our Heavenly Father when we draw near to him when we seek him through his son Jesus Christ and then we are obedient to walk in his light to be his children to be the light to the world his love he gives to us freely and he wants us to then pour that love into the lives of other people we are called to be the light to the world walk as children of light for the love of God will cast out fear and deliver us from the evil plots of the evil one he is our hope our strength and our shield peace be unto you God's peace be on you know that you could find his love and you could find his strength only seek him with all your heart draw near to him and he will draw near to you abide in him and he will abide in you have his word on your heart be ready always in season and out of season and he will direct your every step walk in his steps be his light reach the lost and save many brokenhearted for in these times many will despair but God has called us to be his light and to be his love to those who are lost to the unfortunate to the brokenhearted to those in great need and to all that who should seek his face and seek his name for he does not show partiality he goes throughout the world seeking into the hearts and minds of men and he chooses to draw all people to himself by his Holy Spirit and through Jesus his son and this is the will of him who sent me that you know him that he be the word on your heart and your lips and that he be spoken through you so that the word which he has given which is life the word of life will be spoken out of your lips and those who receive it will receive life to themselves for faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God 
Do as you are called to do. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. His peace will be upon you. He will sustain you. He will remove every fear from you. Perfect love casts out all fear. And the Father, our good Father, he has perfect love for you. So when you draw near to him, you will not fear, for you will have his perfect love. God wishes you all to know him and to know his name. And he will keep you in these days. For, the scripture says, I know who my sheep are. They hear my voice and they follow me. Go do this, do likewise, be my light. Reach the people who need to be need to be reached and bring them to our Heavenly Father by His love, through His love. Be His light in these times and He will give you victory or after victory over the evil one. Do this. Seek God. Seek His face. Seek His love. Do so with all your heart. And he has many good gifts for you. He is a good father. He is waiting for you to come and receive all that he has for you. God bless you. And may the peace of God be upon you all. Take care. And follow him, his word, his son, and his will. Thy will be done, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Take care. God's love to you. Bye.